Mummy? Mama? Daddy? Oh? Hello? Initiating surprise. <sighs> In three, two, one. I made it all up. Surprise. Oh. Oh, come on. If it makes you feel any better, they abandoned you at birth. So I very seriously doubt they'd even want to see you. Thanks. I appreciate that. Ah, uh, this one's... This one looks tremendously weird. Uh, so this is... Hi! First thing we need is a laser beam, and the laser beam is located over there somewhere. So let's just put something up that protects us from that. How are we going to get over there? That's the question. So, laser. There's a laser there. That's going to protect us from that. Ah, there it is there. How the hell did we get there? Let's just go in there. Ouch. So they're just gonna hit one another, are they? Unless I can stop it somehow. How do I stop it? Stop it with a light bridge, I presume. So we'll put light bridge there, light bridge there. Superb. through and look about the laser. Uh, so how many? We need, we need to get quite a few then, don't we? Let's take care of you first, shall we? Because you're going to be a pest. Let's put blue there. Ah, you little... Have it. So we need to light all four of these jobbies up. So we want it to go out that way. Let's try that first. Out that way and then, and then back off a wall or something. So we've got two of these, so it's a bit wonky that one. Oh we just put it there. I feel awful about that surprise. Tell you what, let's give your parents a call right now. To those parents who are trying to reach, do not love you. Please hang up. <sighs> oh, that's mean. But impressive. Maybe they weren't at the phone company. How do I get there? That's my other question. How am I supposed to get over there? That one's lit up, that one's lit up, that one's lit up. All four of them are lit. I'm missing something again, aren't I? Yes, yes I am. Silly boy. Thought I had the portals in use, but I didn't. There we go. What else is she gonna have in store for us? Hey, how's it going? I talked hey, man. onto the old nanobot work crew rebuilding the shop. They are really small. 
I know, Jerry. No, I'm on a break, mate. I'm on a break. Ah! Just hang in there for five more... What, Jerry? You can't fire me for that. Yes, Jerry. Or maybe your prejudiced work site should have accommodated a nanobot of my size. <laughs> Thanks for the hate crime, Jer. See you in court, mate. Anyway, look, just hang in there for, for five more chambers. Five more chambers. Okay, Wheatley. I'm going to trust you on that one because I've been in here a while, to be honest. And you haven't really done anything to help me. Well, you know the old formula. <clears throat> Comedy equals tragedy plus time. <laughs> and you have been asleep for a while. So I guess it's actually pretty funny when you do the math. Is it? Oh my word, there's a lot of stuff going on here, isn't there? First things first, let's go have a look up there. And we'll take this with us. So that lights that. Which is number one. I don't know what that's lighting. It's lighting something. That's jump pad. Which takes us back up there. I want to go there. How do I get up to the jump pad? Uh, blue, orange. If I fall through that, it's just going to... Oh, look, there's one there as well. Let's go for that one if we can. How the hell do we get to that one? There? Hmm. Okay, so how do we get to the jump pad? Because that's just going to keep doing that, isn't it? Oh, unless we... So I got number two. Oh, God, where did I go? I fell through my pole. So that one will send over to that one. Can I get over there? I need to put the. This is going to be weird. I need to put that there. Hopefully that will fall back through again. Because it needs to go over there. Perfect. <laughs> I hope that's right. I think it's right. There we go. So, number two. Right then, so we've got two. The third one needs to go up there. So can we just fall can we just fall through to that? Yeah, okay. So that one goes to there. Let's kill the turrets first. Sorry guys. So that's all of those. And then we need to do jump pad on that one. Blue. 
Da -da. Hooray. I thought about our dilemma, and I came up with a solution that I honestly think works out best for one of both of us. Yeah? Which one of us? Because, <laughs> you know, that's kind of important. If it's you, I'm probably not that impressed. Federal regulations require me to warn you that this next test chamber is looking pretty good. That's right. The facility is completely operational again. You're right. It is looking pretty darn good. Not, I'm just not quite sure what's going on with that, though. <laughs> okay, we've got lasers everywhere. And they need to go in... There? Yeah, three lasers in there. With a splitter? Can I split? If I do that... And... Two beams. How many beams have I got? One beam, two beam. I've got three beams. Okay. So one beam has to get there with portals. That one. Okay, it's gonna have to be you. Ugh. You're gonna have to go like that. This one is gonna have to go. Oh, ow. Okay, what the hell did I just do? How did I do that? Look how many lasers I've made. Christ. Um. How have I made so many lasers? That's amazing. That's a bit weird, but kind of awesome at the same time. What's going on here? Let's just move those there for now. So one beam, that can probably go straight. It's this one which is going to be the tricky one. It has to go there. And this one... that one, because there's nowhere else for that to go, quite frankly. And that has to kind of go... This is going to get terribly confusing. <clears throat> so let's start over. One beam that goes straight down. We can't put anything on that, which means we're going to need to use one of these on this. But where do we point it to? Do we point it to that? Do we point it to that wall over there? I'm going to assume we have to put it there. So that we have mm -hmm. uh, 
meltdown. It has to go on here somewhere. It could go there. How does it get round? This one is surely is Paul's. That one has to be Paul's. It just has to be. Because it's a straight beam. There's no way of bending it. Um, so it would always come out on a funny angle. So it kind of has to be that. This one has to be something like... Into there. And then this one surely has to go like... In there like that or something. It's really close. Why can I hear music? I can hear very faint music. You guys can hear that, right? I'm not just going insane. That's a bit weird. Maybe that one goes in that one. And this one... <laughs> Major headache. I got those two lit and not the other one. Oh. <laughs> Surely that's that's got to be a way of doing it. How close it is! Oh, can't you can't you just shove a little bit? God damn it! All right, let's try again. So let's say that it can't go, it can go that way I suppose. <clears throat> it can also go up that wall. Onto, 
See, the only place for it to go is there. That's really the only place that we can put that pole. I think. It seems that way. Unless I can put it there. Which means I then have like... Youch. Youch. One going like that. Oh my god. <clears throat> and another go da going like No, it's just it's seriously messed up. Look at this. Ooh. Okay. Hmm. Let's try that pole there and that pole. Now I haven't got a decent enough view of the other poles, have I? Hmm. Hello everyone. Wow. I just had the worst issue with frame rate, so I had to exit out the game and start all over again and uh, jump back into the level. So let's try this one more time. I've uh, been having this issue with fraps lately where when I'm recording, and this is probably useful for anyone else who records out there, I was recording and I've been doing this for 12 months now, never had a problem. But last couple of weeks or so, maybe even just the last week, I've been having a problem where like an hour into recording or even half an hour into recording, my frame rate drops to zero, it drops to one even and it basically just forces the game to a halt until I pause the recording and then every time I try and re-kick uh, kick the recording off again it starts all over again almost immediately now I seem to have fixed it, it seems okay and quick fix for you, what I've done is I have set Fraps to record on a different drive to the one it normally records on so it's now recording on a completely different drive oh I've got those two done Notice that before. Have you noticed that? If you look at this side on, look how cool and swirly the pole looks. That's not going to work, is it? Let's try there. Let me try there. So like that one's already hitting that, which is good. That one's going to hit that one. That one. Go over there. Like that one. Is that the three of them done? Oh my god. As if it were that easy. And then they're making a lovely song. So yeah, I if you have a problem. I think these test chambers look like, even better than they did before. It was easy, really. You just have to look at things objectively, see what you don't need anymore, and trim out the fat. Thanks. Thanks, Gladys.